Hello, today in this video I'll be going over supervised learning, which is a branch of machine learning um, where algorithms get labeled training data. And if you haven't already, I recommend you watch the previous video where I talk about machine learning in general. Um, so first, in supervised learning, we'll be talking about, um, firstly, classification. So what is classification? It's uh, one of the most well-known types of supervised learning, and it's basically used to predict a discrete label for a class. So think of it as, let's say you have a bunch of items and you want to sort them into um, predefined categories. So a really good example of this is emails sorting emails as spam or not. So Let's say you have a bunch of emails and you want to see if they're uh, useless spam or they're actually important emails, then you can use a classification supervised learning algorithm to kind of sort them into these two predefined spam or not spam types. Um, and yeah, so what are the types of supervised learning? I mean, sorry, classification. Well, types of classification include binary, um, and multi-class. <clears throat> and binary is basically what we have here, sorting emails as spam or not. We have only two options for what the labels can be, whereas multi-class, uh, we can have um, you know, multiple types of classes. So let me actually, binary, we have like, um, let's say we can also do, classifying tumors as malignant and for multi-class we have let's say sorting animals by species so we have these two types of classification um, two types of classification algorithms, one where it's binary and the other where it's multi-class. Um, so the next big category of supervised learning is regression. So what is the difference between regression and classification? Well, regression, unlike classification, is used to predict a continuous quantity rather than um, a predefined set of labels. So you can think of it as um, finding a relationship between um, the variables to make predictions. So good examples of these can be, let's say you can predict the price of a house based on um, its size, location, number of bedrooms, and all those different variables. So. So there are, I'll just talk about two main types of regression, and the first one is linear um, types. We have linear regression. And uh, this basically assumes that there's a linear re relationship between variables. Um, and it's simpler, but it's very powerful for many real world problems. Um, so I'll just say linear relationship between variables. And then we have polynomial regression, um, which basically captures nonlinear relationships. Um, uh, as you can see in the name polynomial. And I guess you could say that um, polynomial re uh, regressions can be more useful when the data isn't strictly linear. It's not like perfect. It might have curves. Um, but there are some issues that come along with polynomial um, that I'll get to later on. Um, there are also other types of regressions, um, regression models such as, um, um, and we have a very important one called logistic regression. Um, I'll just talk about this one too. Um, 
So logistic regression is actually used for binary um, classification, but I'll just mention it here because it is a type of regression. Um, and it basically gives you a, um, based on the inputs, it gives you an output between zero and one, and then you can determine uh, if that's, I guess, one or the other type of label. So, yeah, um, this is actually used for binary classification. Um, but yeah, it is a type of regression, which is why I'll put it here. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about all of these in future videos, as they're all really important. And of course, there are uh, other types of regression models, but these three are generally uh, very common for beginners. Um, and yeah, so this is basically a brief overview of uh, supervised learning. We talked about classification and regression models and the, I guess, main common types of um, algorithms for each one. And in the next videos, I'll be going over uh, more about machine learning and specific instances of each. So thank you for watching.